Biscuit Mike here. Gonna do a review on uh, Stigger Mucklock Kamek Extremes boots. Stigger makes other Mucklocks that are what they call normal, like you, just your everyday average Mucklocks, which are probably good boots. But I'm gonna review these uh, Kamek Extremes. I'm reviewing them in March because I wanted to go through a whole winter of using them, which I have done so, and uh, I feel qualified to review these now. These are legit boots, and I'm going to explain to you some of the good and the bad about these boots. So let's start with the good. They're tall. They come up to mid shin right about right here I think this this material is Cordura mossy oak and then the uh, the lowers are moose hide rubberized moose hide I don't know what they do they put some moose hide together and make a boot out of it and then dip it in rubber don't know don't know the magic behind it but what I do know is that when I was buying these, some of the questions that I was reading online, some of the, the concerns were that it wasn't a completely waterproof boot. And I don't think it is a waterproof boot, but however, I will say that there was no situation that I was in with this boot that made water infiltrate the boot. I was in slush, I was in moisture, I was in dry powder, I was in cold, I was in warm, I was in a lot of different situations with this boot. Never once did this boot allow water to infiltrate. Now I didn't drive it down a creek, you know, I wasn't in straight up water, so that, that may be a, a factor. Like, if you want a boot you can walk through water, you, this probably ain't your boot. Now, the boot came with... This is a... The boot came with a wool... There's all my dog hair. The boot, the boot came with a wool... insert inside of the insert is a instep that's got some like rubber on the bottom and this this is what it came with which has served its purpose and I'll get to that in a second now while I've got this insert out I'll explain to you one of the bad things about this boot that I've found that I'm not extremely pleased with is that once it's in the boot once it's in the boot it's damn hard to get these boots on Now, I've just got over it over the last winter. I'm over it. But when I put this boot on, because that insert is about half the distance of this gator, I guess I'd call it, you're pulling it on and you're reaching way down there in that boot to grab that wool to get it over your foot. It's a little precarious. Whatever. Not a big deal. Not a big deal for what you get. Because once you get it on and once it's on, it's good. It's a very warm boot. And it's just like 
what you read on other reviews, very light. This is a light boot. Feels like you're barefoot out in the snow. Now, it's got a draw cord up here at the top at the at the calf. You can draw it tight. Keep that snow out. Again, it's a very tall boot. Then you have straps on the side here around the shin as a double extra layer of protection against snow getting into your boot. And then you have a, a strap around the ankle, which is awesome, but I've never used it. So I can't really say how awesome it is. I've never done it. I've never used it. The boot has stayed dry. There was some questions when I was first buying the boot. And it's about, I don't know, they're about $279. I think that's what I paid for them. And you would expect $279, this boot's going to make you make your feet okay. And they have. That's a fact. But uh, but I never, I never tightened up this ankle strap. But, but the boots are light. They feel very light. You can move around very quietly. They don't make noise. One of the things I had a question about too, and I read somewhere was about uh, wearing these in uh, the truck or a snowmobile. So on a snowmobile, you have on the footboards, these sharp aluminum, I don't know, extrusions. So you don't slip on the footboards of your snowmobile. They're sharp. I, I wondered if they were going to cut through this rubber because this is a very soft rubber they didn't cut through it number one um so that's a good thing uh in the truck when you have the defroster on and the foot foot heater on i also heard that the heat from the truck would make these gummy never did do that I heard with these boots that if you wore them out in the wet snow, that they would get wet and your foot would get wet. That didn't happen either. And my feet never got wet. The, uh, the wool inserts inside this boot never got wet one time. And I wore these in wet, cold, powder. Every single situation in the UP we dealt with this year and I wore these boots in every single one of those situations and they never once did get wet. I bought an extra set of wool inserts and wool insteps. You can see I've never even opened these up. These are supposed to make the boots like twice as warm because they're wool insteps. I never, I never broke these out. These are brand new wool inserts, brand new wool insteps. Uh, in steps started wearing these boots back in about first of december it's the first of march right now so we've we've went through a pretty much the gist of winter in the up and i never had to change them out these things have kept my feet dry they're legitimate boots made in ely minnesota up by the boundary waters i've been to ely minnesota it's a cold Hellish son of a bitch. I was there back in 2013, the winter of 2013 and 14. And if you look back in those those days, 2013, 2014, in Ely, Minnesota, it was horrible. Horrible. I wish I would have had these boots because these are really super warm boots. I have nothing bad to say about them. They've done me well. I would... Uh, I would buy another set. I was so worried about buying a set because these were my first real boots that I ever bought in my life that were over, you know, a hundred bucks. You know, two seventy nine. I think with out of taxes and shipping, it was it was almost three hundred dollars. These were almost three hundred dollar boots, but they're still here. I wore them all winter. I'm pleased with them. Uh, 
they're lightweight they do keep your feet dry they do keep your feet warm they're super high they have lots of straps to tighten up and to, and, to, and to encapsulate your leg, your bottom part of your leg, to keep the snow out of your leg if you're trapping or you're snowmobiling or you're out in the snow. Uh, legitimate boots. If there's any questions I could answer for you that I haven't answered for you, let me know in the comments.